Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. Today, a new tournament is starting in Shinevine's Shimmer Season. This one is the Toadstool Tournament, uh, a three minute tournament time, 1,250 sun to start, a bonus damage to explosive plants, but a bruise to uh, frozen plants, interestingly enough. So we'll definitely do something with this. Um, I have not tried too much of the Toadstool. I think it's been in some of the story mode levels, but Toadstool is a premium plant. I think it's gonna be the plant of the week, but for whatever reason, the tournament started before the the plan of the week did so that might be next episode for toadstool but for right now we're just gonna check this out and see how it goes with the toadstool i believe it will we can see gulps down zombies hole then produces sun so i guess with that maybe we don't need too many sun plants or something um it's sort of like a chomper that produces sun in a weird way um maybe on top of that is there any boost panels or anything not really so what explosive plants can i take advantage of most likely potato mines and stuff as we normally do might be our best bet so we have that um, other explosive plants, I know we have things like cherry bomb and stuff, but I'd rather, of course, do grape shots, cheaper, more effective. Um, hmm. Looking around at the options, there's a grape shot, primal potato mine, and probably imitating that primal potato mine will be our best bet, and just sort of having all that sort of flow in. Um, any other explosive stuff we might want to do, probably out of everything, we want to do explode in that, very cheap, accessible, but then we don't have enough for everything, because I want to definitely do bombardment. So I'm thinking maybe we don't need Explode Enough for right now, and we'll just do Bombardment, wrong thing. There we go. I don't know though, maybe that's not the best bet. It's hard to say, for sure. Uh, for right now, I'll just try this. We'll just try this, we'll see how it goes. Hope for the best. Not really sure how I wanna figure this strategy out, and that's sort of what I'm just tinkering with for the time being. Um, but we can do this, and that's like a full setup right there. Uh, we'll hope for the best. Maybe get some sun along the way. I don't know if this will be the kind of level that does give us a lot of sun or not. But it might be good to try some different strategies along the way at some point. But as you can see, we can eat these zombies. Maybe I should have moved them farther ahead so that they would do more points. Uh, I'm not really sure. But what I'm waiting for is for them to produce some sun for me. They'd actually really go crazy on that gravestone. That's good to see. Um, but this is not exactly how I was hoping things would go. Uh, it's a little weird, to say the least. There is some sun, finally, awesome. Um, so what I'd like to do is just a bit of this, and then maybe we could just use some plant food on it, get it launched around a little bit. Boom, that works, awesome. But now they're starting to pop up around here, which is not what we want. So that's where things get tough, and it probably means I need more than what I got set up here. I don't know exactly how I wanna do that, uh, but I'm thinking just the toadstool alone probably wasn't the best bet. Let's go ahead and get more set up this way. I don't know if that's a good idea though. <laughs> it's tough to say, that's for sure. Uh, right now I'll get some more of these. Maybe I'll use some plant food on it just to launch some more around. I guess that's going there now. Um, that'll definitely explode some zombies. So our score really isn't the best at the moment, but it could be worse. It definitely could be worse. Um, come on, put that down. There we go. So we're trying to catch up to our opponents here and that's sort of going okay. There we go. Um, I'll do that. I don't know if that was the best idea, but it's, it's what I tried. See, so yeah, we're a good chunk behind the competition here. I'm thinking we probably want something, if we want to do an explosive plant, that's fine, but we might want to do something a bit more proactive. I'm thinking maybe, uh, what is it called? The straw burst? Maybe we save up a bunch of some of the toadstools and maybe get some like uh, other stuff out. That would work. I don't really know though. Anyways, in the meantime, I got that blown up. Gonna try to get some more potato mines around. There we go. It's sorta kinda working. Um, I will get this there. That, that was maybe not the best idea. We'll wait and see. Come on now. Grape shot explosion. So we're definitely not winning this one, but I am very curious to see what our opponent's um, strategy is gonna be. So they did Toadstool Enlightenment. Okay, so they did have a full sun up setup. Very little in terms of actual explosion plants. They just have the um, the exploded nut. So I think the potato mine strategy doesn't really work for this. That's fine. That's why I wanted to try something a little bit weird on the first attempt because better to do it now than to do it when we almost have a full win streak, right? So not quite gonna work for that one. That's fine. Um, so I do think that I sort of will keep that kind of stuff in mind. What more powerful plants might I have that I can just work into a strategy? If I have something that's level five or six, maybe work with that. Might be our best bet. So let's, okay, probably don't need to recycle too much. 
I wouldn't mind doing the full combo because yeah, an Enlightenment Toadstool is probably a better idea than I gave it credit for because that should mean that its attacks and stuff are also improved. So we'll do that. We will get that out. So what is something that's like relatively higher level for me to work with? Um, that might be a good idea. Looking at it now, um, I mean, we could do something like Homing Thistle, but I feel like if I want to do that, maybe I should try something else instead. I don't know. Um, definitely, we'll try the Explode Nut again. Let's do Apple Mortar. I've been using this a lot, but it's a good setup, and that's why. So, hey, hopefully it goes well this time, too. And that way, we have something in the back that's still really effective. That's sort of what I'm looking for for the time being. So maybe not as many Explode Nuts to start things off with, and instead, spread that around with some... Some of these. I actually might want to change that so it's like this. Let's go. Because the things get scary at first, that's what we have the enlightenment around for. So I'm just going to uh, wait for some of the zombies to get a little bit closer, and then we'll try it. So maybe I could have moved the toadstools up a little bit farther, even, and that would have been a good idea. But for right now, this works just fine. Um, then I can get an exploded one out, apple mortar, get another one out soon as well. Um, but yeah, I guess that lane is where I should have set things up. Bombardment, let's do your thing. There we go. Actually, not so bad so far. And if we keep up with this, hopefully we can start doing some major numbers to him. I'll get the Exploded Nut right there, but I definitely think my strategy could have been better. For sure, it could have been better, but we'll just keep working on this, chip away at it, and we'll sort of figure out what we can figure out. Um, get that there for now. Maybe I could do a bit of that and see how that works out. Maybe slow some things down a tad bit. Because this is where definitely some explosion plants would be useful. Just clearing them out a bit. We'll have to wait and see how that really works out. Get some more sun. It is really weird how that out of all plants, the sun plants are the ones who are boosted. You think that would make sense for the toadstool tournament, but no. But anyways, how are your thoughts on the toadstool tournament so far? How's your progress been through the Shinevine season in general? I would love to hear all about it. We're gonna go ahead and charge that up a bit. And once again, that supercharges the uh, Toadstools. I know my strategy is like a total huge mess right now. I'm working on it. I'm definitely working on it, but it, it's tough. Apple Mortar there. And our score really isn't all that much better than last time. So I might just need something better than the Apple Mortar. Maybe Electric Pea Shooter would be good because that would go right through a lot of people. So maybe that's something to consider. It also might be slightly cheaper. It's only 200, right? Not 225? I can't exactly remember, but maybe. We'll get a Toadstool here. And that at least helps. The Toadstools are very good at getting rid of Gravestones, because it's just the way they constantly attack it. There we go. I know, like I said, my strategy is such a mess. It's honestly hard to see what's really going on half the time. Because of all the different explosions and stuff. So maybe that alone is a good reason not to do the Apple Mortar, because it's just it's just very visually messy. And it definitely, one thing that's not the most helpful is that my Toadstool is level one. Like I said, next episode will showcase the Toadstool once it's actually available as the plan of the week, and hopefully we can get some level ups with it that way, and that'll make it a lot easier. But we are gonna win this. Um, a better score than last time, but still not the kind of score I was looking for. I was hoping for better, so let's hope that we get that next time. But we win. They just sort of had a bit of a random strategy there. So yeah, instead of Alpha Mortar, let's try something like the Electric Pea Shooter. That might be better. I mean, at this point, because I don't have too many explosive plants, I would prioritize, because I really don't think the Straw Burst is gonna work. Maybe I'm wrong, but usually not really. Straw Burst is a very tough plant to work with because of how incredibly expensive it is, and just the active amount of care you need to put into setting them up, letting them rip, all that kind of stuff. So I don't think I'm going to do the Straw Burst. Instead, uh, we'll just try the Electric Pea Shooter, just swap that out real quick. It's it's a shame because I don't have the Electric Mint, which would definitely make things easier in that regard, but we'll just try it anyways. Electric Pea Shooter, it's a little bit cheaper as well. Um, and what do I want to do for the bottom then? The, the, the very last plant. I could do a couple of things. Hmm. Oh, this is ready for a level up. 10,000 coins, very expensive. We'll get it real quick. Level up for the Dandelion. Sun cost goes down to 225, toughness 550, damage 90. I don't think I'm gonna do that one right now. How am I doing with the Electric Pea Shooter? It's almost at level six, which is exciting. I really want that for it. Hmm. Maybe I could just default into an Explosion Plant. Maybe that would just be better. I don't know really how much the Exploding Nuts truly helped before. Hmm. Okay. 
and then maybe we'll do Bombardment. Once again, I don't know how much it truly is gonna help, but we might as well try. We've gotten one win, we need to get six more. Once I find that like amazing strategy, right? So I want the, the toadstools to be here because that way they can immediately eat whatever zombies show up. And there we go. That is gonna be a lot of sun at first. We're going to immediately put down the enlightenment. I know that the toadstools won't benefit it from it a ton because of that, but it should still be enough that hopefully we can get through this. I guess not. <laughs> Never mind. Um, that's fine though, because like I said, we can start working on all this. Get another toadstool out. And we'll just sort of chip away at that, get more toadstools out as soon as we can. Maybe even explode some stuff uh, like this. That's not too bad, not too bad at all. But we definitely need more sun as soon as possible. Maybe I could do bombardment, I don't know. It does get a bit scary. There we go. Because the bombardment is just like a good screen clearer, really. And that's sort of what I was looking for, so that's awesome. Um, so I could try the enlightenment again. I don't know if that would help the toadstools finish off what they're chewing faster. I would like to get rid of that sarcoph sarcophagus zombie. Hard to pronounce. There we go. We can eat him in one bite, so that's really good. But it's really about getting rid of those gravestones. Got it. Uh, so how are we doing so far? It's not too bad, but it could be better. I'll do that, keep on working on getting everything out, really. Get this here, boom. That does a good chunk, that is sun everywhere. Wow, so really I just want the two lanes of electric pea shooters and then just an army of toadstools. The toadstools restore very quickly, so if we could work with that to our advantage, try to break 300,000 points this time. That's a big goal. Um, now that there's so many out too, I should be able to do the enlightenment again and you would think that would get me um, all the stuff I need really. Okay, we really need a grape shot somewhere. Um, I can only fit it right there, so gonna make do with what I got. Maybe now with so much sun, I can start replacing some of the, uh, some of the sun shrooms a little bit. Cause that's another big problem. I guess we should get something fire based because these zombies pushing all this in, that is a bit of a problem. It's weird that they, out of all the, the different plants, they would limit the frozen zombies, or the frozen plants. That was the, the last thing I used against these guys. Boom, that was pretty good. Keep at it for right now. Come on, come on. Got it, and got it. So things are actually going pretty decent right now. They're, they're not perfect, for sure, but we got uh, 387,000 points. We might be able to get closer to half a million. But I think that with the fire feature, we could make some major things happen. Boom, big explosion. So this is my last sun trim I'm getting rid of. That should be fine. Come on, come on. So 461, not quite half a million, but pretty close to it. I'm happy with that turnout, 470. So that's a good jump up. If not anything else, we can keep using that, but I think, I think we wanna do something different. Um, I will try the fire pea shooter just to see if we can't melt those ice cubes faster because I think that would be a good idea. So we'll do fire pea shooter and fire mint and that should deal with them pretty quickly because that's the one issue I'm starting to see is that the toadstools are getting squished. And that's not good. So we will play again. And another good thing is that the fire pea shooters are even cheaper than the electric pea shooters. I think they're only 150. So yeah, we'll try that out, see how it goes. But definitely very interesting. Uh, set up so far that we're trying to figure out. There's just so many cavemen zombies. Uh, replace all of that then, just like this. Get rid of that, and I guess, well, we'll leave it like that for right now. We'll get Fire Pea Shooter out here, whoever he is. Did I pass him? Hmm. Oh no, he should be down this way. Yep, there he is, okay. So I'm just gonna keep it that way. He's 175, well not, well, not 150, but that is still, cheaper than the electric pea shooter. So we'll go for this. Get that enlightenment down before some of these zombies move up, but they should get eaten up pretty quick. Okay, so this is where we gotta get going. I'll get that there. Um, we'll just start working on a bunch of stuff. Maybe bombardment right away, wouldn't be that bad of an idea because we can get rid of some of those gravestones. More toadstools out wherever I can get them. Um, maybe a grave shot here as well. Just trying to work on these now, because honestly that's become more of an issue than I was anticipating right away. Uh, hmm. Maybe I'll do that. 
Like, maybe the fire mint would work out great. I'm not really sure at the moment. But this is what I got for the time being. So I'm doing everything I can with it. There we go. Oh, he's squishing that stuff. I don't appreciate that. Oh, there we go, that still got him. Go ahead and blast a couple of those guys. We almost have two full lanes of fire pea shooters already. So like, that's working out great. Um, I'm just gonna keep chipping away at it. We'll get the enlightenment out so that everything, all these toadstools boost to level 10. And that's at least something, right? There we go. And it gives me a good chunk of sun, which I will soon replace, but in the meantime, it's very nice. There we go. So, so far, so good. If I keep working on getting everything out, I think we'll be okay. Because we're already at 152,000 points, we have a minute left over, but I did also just use my last bit of plant food. And they're not getting rid of the the fire, the, the, the frozen imps as fast as I was hoping, but there's still plenty of room to do more. Got the bombardment coming in, that's doing a bunch. And while that's still out, we can do the grape shot and destroy a whole bunch more. Okay, let's put the toadstool right there. It's getting pretty close at this point. If we could just keep up with everything, you never know, it might turn out just fine. Oh boy. If I do close in more and more, we are running out of sun now. That's where it becomes a big problem. But if we just do that, that's a lot of zombies to start, but this top lane is starting to hurt. Maybe I should activate a, one of these. <laughs> Go ahead and eat that guy. Oh my gosh, this bottom lane is starting to hurt as well. So this isn't actually going as well. I thought that maybe they'd be able to keep up a bit, but they're struggling. The fire pea shooters. Maybe if I had the fire mint, but at the same time, I just, I don't know. I don't know if that would actually be better. It's not a bad score and we are winning, but it's just not a better score. That's for sure. Uh, I'll get rid of that group as soon as I can. I think that's about all I can do. So 376, still a great score. Don't get me wrong, but uh, could have been better, could have been better. 387, actually. Okay, so I'm chipping away at it. We'll get there at some point, but we get three pinatas. What do we get for this this win? Then we get in total 10 wasabi whip, uh, 10 winter melon, and 10 for the sunbean. Not too bad. So I know this is something I usually try quite often, but I was thinking about it. This is a very, very crowded um, type of level so far. So maybe we could just do the typical setup that we normally do with stuff. Uh, or I say typical, we don't do it all the time, but we do it quite often. Um, the thing is, is that like, do I wanna do appeasement then or do I wanna do power lily? I think power lily would be smarter um, given the circumstance. So what I wanna do here then is I want to, how many of these could I get out at once? A good chunk. Maybe this would be smarter at first. Let's try it out, it might not work, it might not work, and I'll regret everything. But honestly, you know, it's not buffed or bruised, so it should be at least a little bit sort of in the middle. Go ahead and get a bunch of extra some. That was actually not as much as I was expecting, but it should be good enough. Now these are gonna start rolling after, and we can still, you know, start working on getting some of these out, but I do wanna save the majority of my son on getting these tile turnips out and getting that working, because soon enough, I just wanna get maybe one more, I don't know how that's gonna work. This toadstool might actually end up getting squished, so it might be a waste of sun. That would stink, but, oh no, it didn't It didn't happen that way, awesome. So this is already gonna be three of them. I just hope it's not too soon, you know? Um, so there we go, as you can see, this stuff starts bouncing everywhere. That didn't do very much damage, actually, oh no. <laughs> okay, keep at it for right now. Because we have enough sun to make that happen. Um, what's interesting, I didn't notice that, um, it looks like he held, the bowling bulb held its plant food until it actually, until there was actually zombies to attack. I didn't realize it worked that way. That's awesome. Very useful, actually. Um, let's get you out of here. Come on, one, two, three. You just keep at it. So far, not going so well. Um, but I'm going to keep at it, because you never know when that, that might turn around. Uh, maybe I could just eat this guy real fast. That'd be great. Um, I don't have enough sun for this last one, but I don't know if I need that necessarily. Um, just go ahead and eat him, please. Please, please, please. Uh, okay, that might be as good as I'm gonna get. Put that there. I don't have too much sun left over, uh, but I have enough to do this. 
Because I always gotta try it, you know? Man, that didn't even destroy him. I can't believe that. That was ridiculous. Didn't even destroy him. Well, at least we're over 100,000 points. Uh, that might be the best we're able to accomplish here. We are still winning by a very small margin, but we are still winning. Get this out there, and then I was hoping for more more zombies. Here we go, here we go. So this might be a bit more handleable, but so far this definitely isn't all that good. I'm sorry to say it, but maybe now we can just get a bunch of toadstools out and they can help us finish the job a bit. Toadstools, do your thing. And we're just sort of hoping for the power later to restore at least one more time before this is all said and done. Because if not, we might be in real trouble. Uh, Toadstool, come on. There we go. Just one more power lily is all I asked. I might activate the gravestone down to this fight because this one's getting a little ridiculous. Go, got it. Because that's a lot more zombies coming out now. Almost there. Come on now. Oh, I'm gonna run out of time before I can really make the most of it though. That stinks. We'll find out though. Come on, please, 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 just do something. Ah, and it really would have too. That stinks. So we lost too. Oh man. Why do I have to change things when they weren't working that badly? So there goes our win streak. I might pay the gems to retain it though, because honestly, it might be worth all this stuff. Oh, that's the worst. So this is still the best strategy I got so far. So we're just gonna keep with this one for as long as I can and hopefully it goes well. So let's rock out with that. And just, if I can just get three, four more wins, whatever I really need to get the full win streak, we'll just keep up. We'll do some pinata parties afterwards. It should go well enough. Um, if I need to, I also have bombardment to do a couple of things for us. But at this point, I think we just need to set up as many things as possible. Got that there. Um, maybe I could, boom. I was hoping that would do more damage to the gravestone. It didn't really, but hey, what can you do? So the uh, sun trim should be making up. There we go, more stuff soon. I need to slow that down a little bit though. I don't like how this guy is slamming all of our friends. I might just have to roll past him. Cause I could do some other stuff, but I just feel like it'd be a waste of resources at the moment. And we could just be continuing with this. Oh boy. Got a little bit more. Awesome. Yeah, so far so good. We're starting to pick up a little bit more. Um, grape shot right there, please. That's a lot of zombies taken out. Might wanna slow it down a little bit. Got the enlightenment. That'll work with the toadstools quite well. But I could get two more sunshrooms out. In the meantime, I don't know if I'll be able to get this next one out. Um, oh no, the gravestone gets in the way. Okay, then. we'll just do this instead. Get the bombardment, because that's a lot of zombies. Got rid of some of the gravestones too, so it works. So this is where I could decide maybe to go a little crazy with things. Just like that. I might want to do that instead. I think that's better. We got a lot of sun at this point, a lot of it. More than I think I need. Oh boy. You know what, let's do bombardment again. Yeah, get rid of a lot of zombies that way. It's really nice. Okay. One more there, let's explode this group. Oh my gosh, it's always so good when it happens that way. So it looks like that's about all I can do for that lane. So what do I wanna do here? Uh, I'm having a hard time deciding. It might be better to do bombardment again because there's just a lot of zombies out right now. Okay, definitely get that there. And then right here. Uh, that could have probably been in a better spot, actually. But hey, that's what I got for right now. We're all to plant food. We're at 440. Could we get to half a million? That's what I want, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. Uh, Not quite. 457, though, still a good score. Much better than the competition, so there is that. Um, And as you can see, yep, 457. I guess we'll just keep with this for now. If it's working, it's working. We got 3,000 coins for that win. So three more to go. We'll get some fire pinatas. We'll get some mints. I need to spend some of the mints, right? Because um, every group of 25 I can spend on the enlightenment. That's good. Because I, I think the enlightenment's currently leveled up. But yeah, now we're at 126. So we'll get more soon. But in the meantime, if we could boost the enlightenment a little bit more, uh, Sometimes with mints, sometimes not, I guess. Oh, right now it's power mint seed packets, that's right. Okay, well let's go ahead and get that. Um, we get concealment, 
ailment, peppermint, enforcement. We're getting closer to leveling that up or actually unlocking it. So that's really exciting. Um, it's, it's one way to get it done. So yeah, let's get back into everything now. Just like this, get another free play. Well, actually it's not a free play, but okay. Same strategy again, I'm just gonna go into it and hope that we can continue to just put more toadstools out, maybe if I time it a little bit better. But I am struggling to find a better strategy than just this for right now. Like maybe we could do something more cutting oriented, it's just there's not enough slots for everything, you know? Let's rock with this. And then, yep, got that going. So I'll immediately do an enlightenment. Okay. Get some of that out. Of course, there's a lot of gravestones that pop up, but bombardment can get rid of the majority of them, which is really good. And we will just keep working on more of everything else. And we're already out of sun, actually. Wow, that happened fast. That happened really fast. Now, these guys gotta go. They're not making anything easier for me. Okay. One more electric pea shooter, then we get the full setup. Pretty good. And we almost have the enlightenment again already, so that's nice at the least. I just hope we can get there in time. I need more of these. Oh no, oh no. It's like too soon, to, or it's too late now to do the, the plant food on it. Okay, come on, do that. Grape shot right there. Maybe I should have put it down below instead. I don't know. Second thoughts all over the place. There we go, enlightenment ready. Go, 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 go. Get some more of that out. Keep working on it. Oh my gosh, there's sun everywhere. <laughs> there it is. Come on, come on. Bombardment, do your thing. Boom, boom, boom. Now there's no toadstools on that bottom lane just because they keep going through it all. It's, it's these darn uh, ice zombies, which is where I thought the fire pea shooter would be better, but it really isn't. Maybe if we had the peppermint, I should probably just try it. Okay, so let's do this now. Just go crazy with it, and that'll be plenty more sun, which isn't really what I need at the moment. But I might just go for it. <laughs> we have 40 seconds remaining anyways. This score is actually looking like it's gonna end up being worse, which is not so fun but I don't know that for a fact right now, so I just gotta keep working on everything. Oh no, I got that mixed up. I didn't mean to put the toad still there or the electric pea shooter over that way. Whoops. Oh man, that is a lot of zombies that we just exploded. Awesome. Get the bombardment out and do the same thing, really. Um, eat that guy up. Come on, come on. Get more of them. 443, that's not too bad, but it's not the best. Come on, come on, come on. So 475, I think our best score was 485, 47, something like that. They did the same strategy I did earlier. They they got a better score though. <laughs> oh man, definitely tough. We'll get three fire pinatas. So what are, what are gonna be inside of these? We get the Snapdragon, Fire Pea Shooter, and Wasabi Whip. I would love to do a different strategy here. I just, I don't trust it. If this works, I just gotta keep with it for a bit, you know? Um, so that's what, exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep with it. So let's play another round. We'll get six minutes out of this one. And then one more round after that and we'll have our final reward. And hopefully throughout all this, we're getting closer and closer through the entire completion of the Shine Vine season. I don't know how far along we are with that, so I might wanna check it soon. But for right now, I'm going to just reload and go. Reload and go, same thing with the setup here. Uh, just like that. As Soon as I can put down an extra sun shroom, might be able to put on another extra one. I don't know if this one will actually get boosted. It will. Well, sort of, it got partly boosted before it was too late. That's fine, that's still pretty good. Right now I will set up some extra sun shrooms because why not, just get the extra sun out there. Um, But I do need to sort of juggle a lot here. Okay, bombardment, do your thing. Ah, oh, I put that in the wrong spot because I'm a dingus. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Okay, then maybe it's time for the enlightenment again. Because this is actually getting a little scary over this way. Come on, come on. Gotcha. Thank you. That there. Grape shot here, get rid of those gravestones, awesome. 
I'll just keep that uh, electric pea shooter there for now. <laughs> if it's not hurting anybody, then, you know, why bother? I mean, I, actually, it should be hurting the zombies, but if it's just not getting taken out, if it's not in the way, really, then it might just be good where it is. So we'll try this again with all of the toadstools. Might have to start replacing some of the uh, sun shrooms for toads, toadstools, because that just works out a little bit better at times. Boom, get a big explosion with that, but it's not enough. Not enough at all. Okay, very crowded, but I gotta keep working. Got that there. We almost have like Bombardment and Grape Shot up again, but I think it's time for the Enlightenment again because it, it just helps so much with keeping up with stuff. I do need more sun, which is where things get scary to keep up with. Got it? Oh my gosh, it's just ridiculous. Oh, that'll get rid of a good couple of them. So we're at 300,000 points. Oh no, so I'm out of sun again, out of plant food as well. So maybe I shouldn't get rid of any more of the sun shrimps. It's just hard to balance, really hard to balance. Got it. Okay, not too bad. Bottom lane's becoming a problem. Eat that all-star. Oh no, <laughs> they're pushing in more and more. Get him. Come on, I just need a couple more explosive plants. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it in time. Oh, maybe I could have pushed that a little bit farther back. But we're 500,000, we did it! It just stinks because we can't keep up with everything else. Um, but I'm doing what I can. Another toad's still down this way then. Uh, that seems to be the best I can do. It was a good round though, our highest score yet. We got a lot, way more zombies than normal. And we won by a good chunk. So with that being done, we have one more one more left to do. <laughs> and then we're all finished. We'll do a pinata party to finish off today's episode as well. It's been a lot of fun, just also highly challenging. So, I don't wanna mix anything up. If it works, it works, but hopefully the boosted tournament will go a bit different. I could definitely see some different options for that. Uh, we'll have to wait and see though, for sure. But I'm glad we, we've been making our way through all the tournaments in the season so far. We have two more tournaments. We have the boosted version of this, and then finally, the Shine Vine and Friends versus Zomboss. So that'll mean two seasons in a row where we got every tournament done. I don't think I've ever done that before, so that's cool. Anyways, get that there. Can I get another one out? And get it boosted, not quite, but I tried. Okay, so let's just go crazy on trying to get rid of this guy. It's sorta of kinda of working. I might wait before I do that. Might just wait a little bit. Slow things down a bit. Uh, maybe plant food like that. Just so that I can get a little bit more. And while that's doing its thing, Bombardment can also get out here. Okay. Got it. And got it. So we have a good chunk of sun. It's not perfect, but uh, maybe I shouldn't do it just yet. Wait a little bit longer. I don't know. Maybe now's a fine time. Uh, this lane though is ridiculous. I just can't break all that. I'm trying to though, definitely trying to. Really, really tough to keep up with. I'll try the bombardment because it might just be what I need to do right now. We still have a decent chunk of sun. I'm trying to keep it that way, but oh, I just missed out on some sun, actually. This is it's crazier and crazier. But I'm glad that we got over 500,000 before. We are in the lead, but not by much. This one actually has some decent competition to it. Oh boy. Okay, so that's not too bad, though. We're starting to clear them out more. A little bit closer. So we're still still competing with points with this person, but we are getting a little bit farther out ahead. That only got a couple. Of them. I thought that was gonna do more. The enlightenment's almost available, and that will definitely help. Ooh, get another one out. Just keep doing what we can. 
Enlightenment's almost here. It just takes so long. Here it is, here it is, Enlightenment. Hopefully that'll help get rid of more and more zombies. Then we can explode some stuff with a grape shot. Just like, not that. Uh, like this. Boom. Bombardment, maybe you could come in soon too. That didn't do as much as I was hoping, but it still did something. Um, pick up the, the sun before it goes away. Almost have bombardment now. Here it is, boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're at 442, we're really starting to jump ahead to score now. Um, oh, that just immediately destroyed that toadstool. That all-star did it. Uh, 468, so not the, the half a million that we got before, but it's still another win for us, which means our win streak has concluded. Um, it starts again, but with this one, we get some jalapeno and some shadow shroom and kiwi beast, solar tomato experience. Very, very good. Happy about that. And we reached the next set of the rewards. We get 50 experience for the Shine Vine, um, which does get it a level up. We'll definitely be using that at some point. Um, definitely versus Zomboss. We'll definitely try to level up the Shine Vine. Okay, awesome stuff. So we're going to head out of here and do the uh, pinata party real quick. Play event. Oh boy, so we so we got the first one done last episode. Now we're moving on to the second one. I'll keep trying to chip away with this and sort of see what we get out of it. Oh, it's Vase Breaker. I was not expecting that. Ready, set, break. Okay, got some plant food to start things off. And a Citron. We should wait for him to be fully charged up. But in the meantime, let's do Wasabi Whip here. Okay, he's nice and charged. That poor imp doesn't stand a chance. I don't think I've ever played a... Uh, oh, here we go. I don't think I've ever played a, a, a thing, um, a Vase Breaker, where... Oh no, that's not really the best. <laughs> what is it called? Where Citron was in it. That's very fascinating. There we go, we got rid of him. So that's that lane figured out. Oh, here comes another one now. Oh geez, but that destroyed that. Um, here's another Wasabi Whip for us. Another Wasabi Whip, get it there. Okay, that's a bucket head. Okay, more plant food. Trying to figure out exactly how we want to do this. Okay, you know what? Right now. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. So I have one more plant food I can use. Yeah, I'm sort of rushing now. <laughs> um, there we go, there we go. Just get rid of as many as we can. But luckily, that's where, you know, the infinite's there. That's an imp. Oh, no. Uh... This is a bit of a problem. Citron, coming in to save the day. So let's see how that works out. At least get rid of the imp this way. Nice. Another wasabi whip and an infinite. Okay, we got it then. Wasn't too bad. Very like far future themed uh, pinata party. I've never seen that before. Not pinata party, but uh, vase breaker. So let's see what our rewards are in these pinata eggs. We get three for the walnut, three for the dandelion, and some coins, didn't see exactly how much. But there we go, a little bit more progress in today's pinata party. Three more to go before we get through the whole thing. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.